Hello, Swing Digger here. Just a quick video to show you um, how to clean the screen on an acrylic face watch. Believe it or not, this one here, a bit of focus, just using my phone this video. There we go. Believe it or not, this one here was actually worse than this one. So you can see. A couple of good scratches in the middle there. Sorry about the focus. So, I haven't bought any special stuff. Um, I'm just going to show you what I did to get the scratches off it. Now, I've got 600 grit paper, sandpaper, 1200 grit. So the 600 grit is a little bit rougher than the 12. The higher the number, the smoother the paper. Uh, I think they measure it in how many grits per inch or whatever. So a certain s size of paper on both will have a certain amount of, I don't know, sand or glass or whatever. And the higher the amount, the finer the sandpaper. That's what I think. Could be wrong, but who knows. So, I'm going to now buff this one and get it just as good as that one. As I say, this one was worse than this one, so it might come up better now. This one here. So, all I do, get the 600 grit. I did try starting off with the 1200 on the other one, but it definitely uh, wasn't rough enough. Now, you might think doing this has just ended this watch, but it hasn't. Now, I'm going to pause this video, or am I? If I pause it, I don't know how to unpause it. I'm going to just keep going. Sorry, this is not a professional video, but. I was just amazed how good this came out. So I just kind of went one way with the 600 and then I took it. So you can see that that's now it's all pretty dull and uniformly scratched. So I'll do it the other way. I'm going to try and figure out how to hold this. And we're going to do this. Oh. I just need to hold it. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go the other way. Not too hard. Yeah. Maybe if I get a box. As I say, I just go one way. Then I turn it. Then the other way. And I just did a diagonal. Just to try and overlap the scratches, I suppose. You could do this watch on a flat surface because the glass is actually flat. I did start off by putting a sheet of sandpaper on the bench and just rubbing the watch straight on the sandpaper but oh, it's just taking too long. Right, so there. That is all pretty uniformly scratched, right? Now, this piece of 1200 is well used. I've actually, this is my fourth watch. Okay. So, what I do is, same thing again. Go one way, turn it. These watches are about, I reckon, about eight, eight, nine years old, close to ten, and they're still both going strong. 
Now I've only recently turned on the um, signal, you know, the alarm signal. So I probably have been saving a bit of battery that way, but I'll tell you what, man. Now, so I've gone a couple across. I'm just going to do this one circular. It's pretty clogged up, but doesn't seem to matter. So this is a 1200. And that one there had a decent, actually had a decent scratch up here. You can see there's a nick just there. That was a decent scratch that came down there. Alright, so. That all seems pretty scratched up, doesn't it? Now, this stuff here is a polishing compound. I actually got this for nothing off of me. But all I've got, cheap old Dremel thing. Uh, a little buffing wheel thing that you can buy and uh, I got it from uh, the hardware shop and all I do I just turn the speed right down so I don't heat the glass up one maybe two something like that switch it on put it on the compound get a bit on the buffing wheel and then watch the magic I'll do the top half and show you. You don't want to hover on the same bit too long because you'll overheat it. Switch it off and look at this. Come on, focus. How good's that, man? Literally. I know that you can see the scratches, that's obviously me with the sandpaper. But the longer I spend with this, the better this is going to look. A little bit tricky for me to do this with the um, phone in the way, but... I'll probably speed it up a bit. Swilly marks are pretty much gone. So the longer you spend on it, the better it gets. And as I say, you have to keep that on a low speed uh, and keep it moving. Just go all over, round about. Because if you hold it in one spot, that was a, this was actually a practice one, you'll see that this glass is distorted. There's a little bit in the middle somewhere. Let me see if I can see it without... It's about here. See it there? I cooked the glass. Actually, the glass went like a lump, but then I buffed it out. But still, if that was your watch, that'd drive you crazy. Looking through that. But, keep it moving. Like a new watch. Amazing. Didn't think it would work, and it did. Thought I'd show you that. Cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good one.